Yo, what's up guys? Tyler here today. I just went to a garage sale. I didn't video that because it was out of respect for the older man. And he sells a whole bunch of fishing reels, he rods, lures, old lures, collections, like you name it, he probably has it. So I went there, spent like 13 bucks I think on three lures that two are pretty old and one's just a bait I've never seen before. So I'm going to show you these lures and then we're going to see if I can catch three bass on these three lures. Which... Okay guys, so the lures I bought are right here in front of you. First lure is a tadpole type of lure I got. I've never seen a lure like this before, so we're going to try it out. It was in this Bass Pro Tournament Series bag, so I'm assuming it came from Bass Pro unless he just put them in there. And second is a hidden, or head done, I don't know how to pronounce it, crazy crawler. This one's a tiny crazy crawler. It's pretty old. Uh, he had the bigger one there for like 15 bucks. It was old too, but this one was only three, so I picked it up. He put new hooks on it, so we're going to see how she how she goes. Next is a gizzard shad swim bait, wake bait type situation. And it kind of has a little flex in it, single hook. So it's not too big. It's maybe three, four inches long, so it's not too giant. But we're going to see if we can whack us a pretty nice one on this guy. And the pond we're going to caught the biggest bass of her car was seven pounds something ounces so we're gonna see how good that goes and we're gonna see if we can get us another big old bass on this sucker all right guys we're gonna go over a recap of what we got rigged up on the gizzard shad we are on 50 pound braid on a quantum hellcat with a seven foot medium wright and mcgill brent chapman casting rod uh we're gonna fish this guy real slow he's on the brakes I don't want to take a chance of accidentally losing him and secondly we got rigged up the tadpole looking bait on a six foot six medium heavy Shakespeare excursion and this is the Brent Chapman Wright and McGill uh, casting reel that goes on this rod but and we have it with a one eighth ounce weight I think and a two watt extra wide goat hook so we're gonna see and this is 14 pound trilene extra tough monofilament so we're gonna see how we can do so recently here in Oklahoma we have got a lot of rain and the, a lot of places are flooded out and coming up this is a little park that we have for like soccer and stuff here in Cleveland and it is completely flooded way up and so you really can't even get down there and to go back that way to get to the pond you can't because the road's flooded over so like you'll see you'll just see how high it really is the water's never ever this high but it's really high now and so like you can't even it's high right there and you really can't even get over there to get down because it's up to the bleachers back down there and stuff so it makes it real hard to you know do stuff when you, everything's flooded so yeah we'll get the pond in the so we're gonna try right here first we're gonna throw this big gizzard shad little four or five inch swim bait I saw some stuff busting right here along the bank and there's a beaver dam straight ahead so we might be able to get something to hit us here I've never fished a big gizzard swim bait like this or any swim bait like this in general so it's a uh, it's definitely a learning process and this pond's pretty mossy so I can't let it get too too uh, what's what I'm thinking of too deep because then uh, it'll just hook a bunch of moss and it won't be be good So we'll just walk over there, make our lives easier. We'll try and catch something out of this beaver dam. Should be able to pull something off of it, you'd think. If 
you haven't seen the video, I caught two five pounders off this brush pile on a whopper plopper. Back to back cast, which was crazy. I love Abu Garcia rods and reels. I think I might buy some more, but I uh, this is my buddy's Quantum Hellcat here, and I've been really digging it. There we go. Tadpole is knocked out. Come on, buddy, calm down. All right, we got the tadpole lure in his mouth. Knocked it out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys, here's the bass we caught on the tadpole fishing lure. And so we're going to give him a quick toss in the water. Maybe, maybe a pound bass. Caught him out of the brush, so here he goes. He's gone. All right, guys, so we talked to the property owner, and she said it was okay if we pulled the truck down over here and fished this side. I didn't want to pull down in her yard without having her consent and getting my truck stuck or something. That would, it'd be no good for me or for her, so, you know, even if you have permission to fish a pond, you should always ask permission to, like, pull down somewhere or something, like, I think it's just kind courtesy and little little things like that can get you a long way so that's what, that's what I would do if I was any of you guys that have permission to fish a pond and it's day two of the garage sale lure challenge we were not able to complete the crazy crawler or the gizzard shad yesterday and I wasn't able to go out that that evening because I was doing stuff with my girlfriend for her birthday and I got a little water scamp that I had to do some work too but I'll give you guys a quick little view of it and then we're gonna head out to the pond and we're gonna try and finish this challenge alright so this is my little water scamp it's 8 foot long 10 foot wide we had to put some flex seal along the bottom in spots where there were small cracks and stuff and you know we didn't want that there in these thicker spots like this and this is where the drain plug was and someone already went over it so we just kind of went with it and didn't didn't bother changing it I guess uh, but yeah we're just gonna put a whole nother layer of flex seal over it seal the whole bottom really good just to be safe and then put new handles on new transom wood and get a trolling motor and i'm only going to put one seat back on it came with two i'm only going to put one seat on and then we're going to get a little trailer for it so let's head to the pond all right guys we're back at the pond we're on the back side again so we are going to start off with the big swim bait once again, gizzard chad, and see if we can knock it out quick. Got out here late again, slept in this morning, so the crazy crawler is probably going to be a little difficult to get through now, but we'll try our best. Caught the first stick bass of the day. Nice little tree pounder. Water scamp yesterday, guys. So there will be some better videos put out now. I'll be able to get on my little boat and come out in these bigger ponds like this one and get to different spots that you're not really able to get to by land and probably catch more fish. There's got to be a big bass just learnt roaming somewhere around here. 
I think we got one. We got one, guys. It's a good one. Right as I say, oh my goodness, that is a good fish. Straight hammered that bait, guys. Oh yeah, that's easily a five, five and a half. Looky there, guys. Big old four and a half, five pound bass there. Choked it. It's a nice fish. Nice bass on the big gizzard shed swim bait. She demolished it. I'd give her five pounds, maybe a little under five. So we're going to get her unhooked and we're going to get her released. All right, guys, we got her unhooked and we're going to let her go. Thank you, big girl, for the fight. There she goes, guys. All right, we got one more bait to knock out. That was like, what, 10th cast maybe at this pond? Awesome, awesome, awesome. And there's bigger bass than her in this pond, so let's get day three of the pond fishing challenge and we are going to just see if we can knock this crazy crawler out and complete this challenge I finally managed to get out in the evening so that's a great thing This bait kind of reminds me of a Whopper Popper in a sense. Not sure. Oh wow, that was big back there. We got one. Crazy crawler is knocked out. Here we go. It's a little dink, so we'll, we'll try to upgrade on it, but we got it knocked out. We got it knocked out. Oh, it is a baby. That was not the big swirl I saw, but. Finally, got him knocked out. A little crazy crawler. Oh, well, scared me. All right, we're gonna let him go. We'll see if we can get another one on it, so we'll toss it out there again.